let me tell you about a Sonic character that Sega has completely forgotten about. Hasn't showed up in anything at all recently, nope. This character is so obscure. I bet you don't even know what character I'm talking about right now. It's a very obscure character. In Sonic Advance 2, Cream the Rabbit made her debut as a playable character in the Sonic series. One thing that I think a lot of people liked about Sonic Advance is how it continued the tradition of the classic Sonic games of adding a new playable character every game. Like Sonic 2 added Tails, Sonic 3 added Knuckles, and Sonic Advance added Amy. So, to keep up with this tradition and get a little bit more of a unique plot, they added Cream the Rabbit into Sonic Advance 2. And the game is all about going on a quest to save her mom, or something. I don't know, it's irrelevant. Soon after, Sonic Heroes released, and there was like one, two a lot of playable characters in that game. And would you look at that, one of them is Cream the Rabbit on Team Rose with Amy and Big. Now, I don't know why an old fisherman is hanging around two young girls, but we're just gonna ignore that and keep moving on. So by this point, people were pretty used to Cream being in Sonic games, right? Like, I, I don't know if she was a fan favorite for everybody, but I'm sure there were plenty of people out there who liked her. Cream would continue to appear in Dimps games in Advance 3 and in Sonic Rush, and then in Rush Adventure, they opted for Marine instead, which probably wasn't the best choice. She appeared in Sonic Generations among all of Sonic's other friends, and by this point, she was a mainstay. I mean, she was in main games, she was in spin-offs, pretty clear by now that she's like a main part of Sonic's friends. But all of that changed in... Team Sonic Racing. Now, Team Sonic Racing is a very mediocre to bad game for many reasons, but one of the main ones, in my opinion, is the team choices. Because the game revolves so much around using your team to get boosts and items, they kind of brought back the Sonic Heroes team format. Where there's teams of three, and in Sonic Heroes there were four teams of three, and in Team Sonic Racing there's five teams of three. So, you know, it'd be great if they added the original four teams from Sonic Heroes into this game, and then they had a new team, because there have been some new characters since then, you know? So, so yeah, we got Team Sonic, Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, all makes sense, all good. We got Team Dark, Omega, Rouge, Shadow, all good stuff. Then we got Team Chaotix. Uh, just kidding, we don't have Team Chaotix, because instead of Team Chaotix, all of the Chaotix have just been totally kicked out of the game besides Vector for some reason? And they put Vector on a team with Blaze and Silver. What? I get they wanted to fit Blaze and Silver in somewhere, and they make sense to be on a team because of 06, and, like, I get they're not in Heroes, but why Vector? And then things just get weirder from there. There's, like, Team Eggman, which is Zavok, Eggman, and Metal Sonic. Like, why is Zavok on a team with Eggman? These guys hate each other in Lost World. The only reason that Zavok is under his control is because of the magic shell thingy. And now they're just acting like they're friends. What's up with this? Why are they on a team together? But it's okay, because at least we know that we have Team Rose from Sonic Heroes, Amy, Cream, and Big. Except we don't even have that. We have Amy, Big, and a bunch of Chow? I do not understand this change whatsoever. They literally just replaced Cream with a group of four Chow. Why? Cream literally has a Chow of her own. If they wanted Chow representation, they literally could have just made it Cream and Cheese. They literally just pretend that Cream doesn't exist. They just replaced her with four Chow. What's up with that? This is absolutely baffling to me. I do not get why this decision was made whatsoever. Obviously, I think the only thing I can think of is that Sega's trying to, like, cash in on Chow, because they know people love Chow. They made the Chow in Space animation, so they wanted Chow in the game. But once again, Cream literally has a Chow of her own. They could just have cheese, like, flying around the outside of her car or whatever. It would have been perfectly fine. They don't just need a bunch of random chow. I don't think I've ever wanted to play with Omo Chow on my team in my entire life. I'm not saying that Big Amy and Cream being on a team in the first place really makes sense anyways, because, like, it doesn't even in Heroes, but that's the precedent that Heroes set, so why are they not following this here when they do follow it for Team Sonic and Team Dark? And then if we look back, like, two years before Team Sonic Racing, just to really drive this home, Cream isn't even in Forces either. Forces is a game where a bunch of Sonic's friends show up. There's like Knuckles, there's Silver, who's supposed to be in the future right now, so I don't even get why he's here. I've got Shadow, Rouge, Amy, Omega, Tails, and yet, no Cream. Now, I kind of understand this one more because putting like, I think she's six or something, putting a six-year-old child in like a war scene probably doesn't make the most sense. But also in Sonic Forces, they've got Charmy, who is also six years old apparently, and who also isn't in Team Sonic Racing.
thing because they didn't make Team Chaotix because they put Vector on- Why did they do this? No, obviously, I don't think that Cream the Rabbit is being taken out of Sonic canon or something. Like, as far as I know, Cream and Vanilla both play pretty prominent roles in the comics that are rolling out, like, right now. I'm not gonna pretend like there's just very few recurring female characters in the Sonic games, but she was one of the few. Like, Blaze wasn't in Forces either, and she had arguably more reason to be there than Silver did. So I don't know, I guess I just really wanted to make this video to yell about how terrible the Team Sonic racing teams are. <laughs> if anyone's wondering, here is the team roster that I would have made. Uh, it has the same amount of characters and teams, except it doesn't have Zavok, so it's automatically better. I know Infinite probably doesn't really make much sense, because Team Sonic Racing was probably, like, in development during Sonic Forces development, but it makes way more sense than Zavok. And heck, dude, while we're at it, I would just add a sixth team that's Team Chaotix. And I mean, if it were also up to me, I'd add a seven and eighth team for Team Hooligan and the Babylon Rogues, but who even, who even is counting at this point? It's not like this matters or anything. It's not like anyone actually likes or is gonna play Team Sonic Racing. It's not like it's a garbage game. Why did they even release this? I just want a new mainline Sonic game, please. So that's the video. Uh, I know it was pretty short. I, once again, I really just wanted a reason to rant about how bad the Team Sonic Racing teams are. But you know, while we're here, it is a video, so I'd like to even thank you my channel's current members, including everyone you can see on screen right now, including this guy who I can't say the name of without being demonetized, the guy I couldn't say the name of last time, because I don't know how I'm supposed to say it, Big Oof and Eliza, and right Ry Rystar, right? Hey, I like Rystar. Rystar's a cool game. If you'd like to get some great perks for yourself, such as having your name right off at the end of every single video, make sure to hit the blue join button next to the subscribe button, and a nice little video about memberships will pop up. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe if you did, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.